Damn, Dre, you wavy. You that nigga. Hey, y'all, what's good, man? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Now, check this out. I want to explain to you guys why it's not good to cut your hair to the same length as mine or to a low length in general, such as a, a one guard. You know what I'm saying? So, how many of you guys out there are wolfing your hair? Wolfing your hair is you're growing your hair out for a certain amount of time and then you cutting it for better results, right? So, if you haven't watched my last video, before I got it cut, my waves was crazy, right? The connections were there, they were deep, they were nice, right? I always get my hair cut to a one guard because my hair is trained. Now, I wanna show you guys what it looked like to get it cut to a one guard. All the progress you lose, you know what I mean? All the connection, you know what I'm saying? It's just all the hard work you put in just goes down the drain. And I wanna tell you guys why it's not good to cut your hair to a one if your hair is not trained, right? So look how my hair looks, right? I mean, the waves are there, but my hair stands out better whenever I have longer hair, you know what I'm saying? Whenever my hair is grown out, it looks better, right? But um, my waves are trained, which means in about a week or two, you know, two weeks, my hair's gonna grow back and they're gonna grow deeper. The connections are gonna connect all back. You know what I'm saying? Everything is gonna go back to base one where my waves are crazy again. That's called train. And a lot of you guys' hair is not trained. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna cut your hair and you're gonna lose all your progress, all of it. It might not even turn out how mine looks, you know? Whenever I cut my hair, it looks like this. You know what I'm saying? The waves are still there. Everything, right? Some connections are still there. You know, you can see it. But for some of you guys, if you guys cut your hair now, you're gonna be mad at the end because you see no progress. You feel me? So don't cut your hair to a one, cut it to a number two so you can save your progress. So you don't be mad and be asking questions on why you don't see progress. You know what I'm saying? So this is a number one guard. Um, I always do this. I've been doing this for years. I've been cutting my hair to a one guard for years. After two weeks, my hair grows right back. The connection grows back, you know, Everything just grows back because it's it's trained. You know what I'm saying? But for some of you guys, if you cut it to a one guard, you won't even see this progress. You won't see the connection. You won't see no kind of waves because your hair is not trained. And you're going to be pissed. So if you're wolfing and you're a beginner, cut your hair to a number two so you can save that progress, bro. I promise. All right? A number two will save you. All right? So as of right now, I'm just brushing my hair so when it grows back, the waves grow back to how they're supposed to. All right, now I am a short hair waver. There is no other way you can brush your hair when you cut your hair to a, a one guard, you know what I'm saying? Or to a, a two guard. You want to cut your hair the same as you've been cutting it when you were wolfing, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people know how do I brush my hair when my hair is super low. Uh, bro, it's simple, all right, it's very simple. The top, which is how everybody else does it, they just brush it straight down. You know what I mean? It just straight down. There's nothing else to it. Straight down. Once you do that, all right, I usually just keep brushing until it feels soft, until I don't feel no hair sticking up, right? Or you could do a long lace. It don't matter. So once you brush the top, which is simple like that, you don't need to brush so quick, all right? Just because you brush it fast don't mean the waves are gonna come in faster. It's not, right? So just take your time, you feel me? Don't put so much pressure on your head, barely go over it. So you can actually brush your hair, you know what I mean? And then the back, simple, just straight down as well, okay? There's no other way to it. For 360 waivers only, not 720, not 180, not none of that stuff, not the swirl. All right, the back is just straight down too. You feel me? Nothing different. So the top straight down, the back straight down. You feel me? Like I say, I always brush to when it feels soft or I don't feel no roughness or I don't feel any hair sticking up, right? And then we move on to the side, all right? Now, I got two different angles on my side. You feel me? Two different angles on my side. I got one and then I got two. 
So I go like this, bring it around. It looks difficult, right? So like this, like that, and then I turn my brush so I can hit that angle, right? So the back connects with this side and then I turn it to the other angle and then bring it to the top. Some people angles are different, all right? Same way with this side. Boom, turn it, and just like that. Simple, man. If you guys don't know what your angle is and you wanna do it how mine is, go for it. So the back is just down and then you got this back corner right here, which I can easily turn like this. I can turn the brush like that. But I usually just, since this is one whole side, I just brush like this and then wrap around to the top. And then for the back, and then that back corner, side, and then top. Everything connects by itself, everything. You know what I mean? Everything goes in place. So you gotta find out what's best for you, right? Got the back, that back corner, got the side, and then we got the top. Real simple, man. So that's how I brush my hair, the short hair waver. It should be no difference from you, from when you cut your hair. Do it the same way. Um, this is a soft brush because 97% of my hair is laid down. There's no need for a hard or a medium or none of that stuff. But if you are a wolf and cut your hair to a number two so you can save your progress so you don't lose progress if your hair is not trained, you're going to be pissed off. You got to start all over. So a number two is a good length to continue to brush at and to continue to save your progress, right? So usually when I get done with my little brush sessions, I put on my do-rag, man. And I'm going to try out my brand new see-through do-rag, all right, which is dope. All right, y'all, so I got my red see-through do-rag, which is dope. Um, I like to see my waves through the do-rag, all right. I like to be able to wake up without taking the do-rag off and seeing my waves through the do-rag see-through, man. That's dope. This is some new addition stuff. So, like I said, save your progress, cut it to number two. I got mine at number one because my hair is trained. If your hair is trained, when you cut it low, it grows back. Your waves come back regardless. I can go, I can scalp and they're gonna come back. You feel me? So, this is my see-through do-rag, as y'all can see, look at this. You see the waves through it? Probably can't because it's red, but it is a see-through do-rag. Now these ones, feel me? I throw them on like this. I don't fully put them on. Just throw it on like this. All right. It's real light. It's not a heavy do rag. Pull it down. Hold the top. Pull it on the side. It's the same, bro. I just easily just throw this on. Just, just straight like that. Cause it's real light, man. It's not going nowhere. Feel me? It's not. Boom. Straight like that. You did. Easy. See, you see the waves right through it. Bro, I'm in love with this do-rag. It's amazing. It's comfortable, it's soft. And this is how I save my progress whenever I brush my waves. Throw my do-rag, leave it on for a few few hours. Take it off and go about my day. So thank y'all so much for watching, bro. Thank y'all for our support.